afraid I preach it down out of. I've been raised in Lexington, so I've always heard about Gabe ever since I was a kid, probably. And then going to UK games, seeing him hold his signs on the side of the road, you know, I always ask, you know, what's that guy? What's he doing? And you know, I finally explained it. Then the best thing, you know, to learn about him when I read his book, probably I picked it up because I was interested in Gatewood, and then read it the next day. And you know, by then, you know, I was already follow him wherever he went basically because everything he supported you know with things that I was talking about that nobody else stood up for. I first heard about Gatewood at the Bluegrass Army Depot where I worked and I read some of his stuff and I knew that he was the guy after my own heart. I knew of him when he first came to Lexington his reputation as such a good attorney and uh, his uh, his fight for freedom for us common folk. And uh, I jumped on the bandwagon for him when it became apparent that uh, he was my kind of man. What did you do for your 60th birthday? Uh, what, did I, what day was that? What did I do for my 60th birthday? Oh, I think my kids came over and bought me some presents. That's my 60th birthday, I announced for governor. That's when I had my announcement over in the over in the uh, January 23rd. I announced for governor. I'd forgotten what I'd done. Man, I, th I think I think that's it on my boat, brother. Uh, I got another one out of the car. I got another one out of the car. I'm going to get one out of the car. I mean, I thought it was one of the better books I've read just from an entertainment standpoint. I mean, he talks about you know, everything you could want in a book, really. He wraps it all up, and it's the fact that it's true and that he actually left a lot of the more interesting stories out of there. You know, you could imagine what kind of book he could really write. I love it. It's the best book I've 
uh, or story or uh, best reading that I have done since Mark Twain's stories of, of Huckleberry Finn. A good, easy reading and very, very informative. I loved it. It was just most books when it's it's related to political, you know, subjects and stuff. It's so boring, and the way it's laid out, it's just you know, they're basically speaking about themselves and their own achievements, and you know, ways that we can fix things that are unreasonable. Can we talk about his book? Well, yes, I'll talk. <laughs> I really enjoyed Gatewood's book. It was at times as outrageous as Gatewood is um, on a semi-regular basis. And after reading it, I realized that he has lived many lives. And maybe that's the thing that helps him connect with everyday people. Why did you decide to write a book? Well, um, you talk about the last free man in America. Uh, well, I had presented myself to the public on many occasions in the political arena and had been snubbed and boycotted by the, uh, the typical media. Uh, had uh, felt like my positions were uh, never fully described, never fully presented in the, in the marketplace of ideas. One of the blurbs from uh, Mr. Paul Krasner says that, uh, that one of the refreshing things about the book is that uh, I don't take myself as seriously as I take my issues. So um, I thought that was pretty, uh, uh, pretty good observation. Do you think he's been unfairly labeled a one-issue candidate? Yeah, that's been my biggest issue with people I've talked to. The guy has the courage, the heart, and the integrity. Then if you disagree with one or two issues, that shouldn't matter at all. Those should be issues and talking points between you know, similar minds instead of something so divisive over a plant that comes out of the ground that really could, uh, you know, turn Kentucky around with industrial hemp and help save millions of dollars and millions of lives with medical marijuana. Oh, absolutely. I mean, he, I mean, he, I've, I've talked to him and about issues. He speaks about uh, our school systems, the economy, uh, environment, uh, the environment. I mean, there's no way he's just a one-issue candidate. I just think that that's wrong that you know people could take one of those issues of him and hold it against him just one there's so many more issues to his platform that people are not even given a chance because they can't get over the crutch of the phobia of marijuana the Bob Seger concert well the Bob Seger concert uh, handing out pamphlets and flyers there people would come up I don't want one gate, what's a pothead? Well, Bob Seger is one of the biggest potheads in the United States, and they're going in to listen to Bob Seger sing, but they say, I don't want one of Gatewood's bumper stickers because he's a pothead.